Hola, clase. Well, today we're going to go through possessive adjectives. And you remember possessive adjectives. Let's take a look. So, please remember what possessive adjectives are all about. They're about showing ownership, possession. And here are the forms right here. Mi, mis, tu, tus, su, sus, nuestro, nuestra, nuestros, nuestras, vuestro, vuestra, vuestros, vuestras, su and sus. And here are all the translations right there. Now everyone remembers that in Spanish all adjectives have to agree with their noun in number and gender. Or gender and number. And remember, gender means male or female, number, singular, or plural. Most of the possessive adjectives, however, just simply agree in number. Like my cousin, mi primo. My cousins, mis primos. Two forms, nuestro, vuestro, agree in gender and number. Please remember that all adjectives in Spanish agree in number and gender. Nuestro primo. Nuestros primos, nuestra tía, nuestras tías. For the placement of possessive adjectives, they always go before the nouns they modify. And please remember, you need to use the noun. You have to say, está tu novio aquí. You have to use the noun. No, mi novio está en la biblioteca. You have to use the noun. The possessive adjective goes before the noun. Also, please remember that Sue and Sue's have a lot of different meanings. Sue and Sue's. It could mean your, his, her, their, its. So to avoid confusion, before you use Sue or Sue's, you have to clarify. And you clarify by using the day. Article noun day and the pr subject pronoun. For example, los parientes de él will be Sue's. Parientes. That means his relatives. Los parientes de ustedes means your relatives. So then once you identify who they belong to, you can use the possessive adjective su or sus. So now after this video, please remember that on Canvas, I'm going to spell this out, you have a listening to do. And a practice to do on Canvas. Muchas gracias, señoritas. Nos vemos en clase.